we don't need this amber anymore okay sorry we need to make it white actually yeah but uh, now if you see we have a line over here and that is nothing but the elevation of app bar so all we need to do is go inside app bar and make the elevation as 0 or 0, 0.0 since it is a double yeah so we can see that it all is same and we have it as we had it in the design so that is cool one thing done we can say that okay now this image still looks pretty big to me what I'm gonna do is I am gonna deduct 20 from it let's see okay let it let's uh, let it be like that we can leave it like that for now so let me add some documentation means basic stuff so that someone else who looks at this code directly and is not watching the video is able to understand so this container is for the background color and this is our main container okay now this is actually adding the uh, curves but that is not important this is important uh, this is the product image actually so that is that now this is the product price per kg okay per kg and it needs to be capital p so over here it is 120 but in the design it is rupees and followed by kg so we can do that since it is already in string interpolation so rupees and then a space then the price and then per kg let me save this okay so this looks fine now I don't want it in the center I want it in the right so again where is our column yeah so it is over here now I'm gonna make all its child left aligned so that since it is a column the vertical axis is the main axis so I'm gonna write main axis alignment and then from the main axis enum okay I am gonna write start so let's see if this works or not okay it didn't <laughs> I don't know why so what we can do is inside the uh, surround this text with the widget and that widget can be a sized box okay now the only purpose that size box serves is that we can give it a size so I am gonna give it a width and the width is gonna be uh, media query dot of context dot size dot width okay so that is there and now you can see it is to the left so what happened over here was that uh, originally uh, the text has taken the entire space but now since we uh, surrounded it with a sized box the sized box took the entire space and the text inside it only took the space as much as it required so our purpose here is done okay now let's uh, style this text before that i want to leave some space towards the left so what i am gonna do is there are two things that i can do actually over here i can surround this text with a padding okay and that is not uh, the way to go we can simply change this sized box to a container so that we get the width and the padding in the same in the same widget okay so over here i'm gonna add padding and the padding was like edge insets edge insets only because we only want it from the left and left and i'm gonna give it 50 pixels okay we can uh, this seems fine for now 
so the warning is also gone now over here in this child text let's uh, start styling it so style and there is this text style now i think the font that we are using is poppins and i think i already have google fonts in here let me check yes we have so let me import that import google fonts dot dot now over here instead of text style it is gonna be google fonts dot poppins i guess yeah so it is gonna be poppins and inside this let us give it a color i'm sorry what is that called is it color or text color okay so it is color i don't know why it was not showing over there on its own so we are gonna use the same color okay now if you are asking where i if you want to know where i am getting all these things the design file is in the link so you can go over there and just have a look yourself then after that we need to mention the font size the font size i'm sorry the font size can be 10.0 let us refactor it save it and see how it looks and it doesn't look good so what i am going to do is i am simply going to pick everything from here so the size is 220 and the uh, font weight is medium so let's simply just do that and see if it looks decent or not and then we'll do little bit tweakings ourselves so font size is there and then font weight then again we have the font weight enum okay and then the options are bold let's see bold because medium is not an option over here we will have to give 100 200 and values like that so this 120 looks fine but i think we can increase its size a little bit more yeah so this looks better okay so with this the price per kg is also done now i'm going to commit it over here so that if you watch the video or the git log you will have a good idea so first i'll check the status add all the files to staging then again check if all the files are added and the end green means yes it has then i'm going to commit it price per kg displayed and then i am going to push it to github okay so this was for the video in the next video we shall add this and most probably the buttons we can't add this for now okay so or maybe we will add this and just add some random data and later on we can connect it with the api so i'll need to think what i need to do uh, but see you in the next video okay so thank you for joining